hey welcome back now we are going to talk about the data data i told you is like those raw food items that we had in the kitchen yes now let's talk about some real data imagine you are making an app an app to display your friends their image their name and their age now you need what you need their names that is also data in the form of text you need their age in numbers whatever age they are and then their picture let's talk about name and age now this is 2021 suppose this is your friend John his age is 20 in this year 2021 next year he will be 21 and next to that year he will be 22 and likewise but his name is John even in 2024 that name will be John it will not change probably I mean most probably it will not change we understand it okay now you see these are two types two categories one data that can be changed or that should be changed or that can be updated or modified yes and the other category is the one which should not change or which we do not want that to change so these are the two categories under which data falls data can be put into those two categories it's for our ease we want to make it easy for us so that is for us now yes I told you like the, the these are two categories if it is fixed like your name I told you and uh, like your name it is fixed it will remain John whatever year it is and your age it will update it will change yes you know here is an example like in 20 you are 20 today and next year you will be 21 now I'm sure you you're getting the idea you are getting the idea just concentrate your brain on name and age name remains the same but the age keeps on updating or it gets updated or it's changing so that is dynamic that is changeable and the data which remains the same like your name is fixed okay now in Kotlin we are doing Kotlin the data that change that updates is variable variable mean it can vary it can change it has the ability to change that is the variable and the data that remains same like your name is called VAL val or it is short for value but we use val and one important uh, uh, one important thing I should tell you most of the time you should use val yes Kotlin suggests us to use this that's another point now please focus yes also you're not preparing for exam you are trying to understand the fundamentals that's what I'm going to do with the simplest methods with the simplest analogies and examples now here is a scenario imagine you are in your kitchen there are three buckets and all these three buckets have some something inside them some content some data some value is inside those buckets yes these are real examples real physical things so now we have given them some names bucket number one bucket number two bucket number three these are the names written on them now imagine yes these buckets can be used to store things bucket one has milk bucket two has water bucket three has rice likewise now I am asking you hey go to the kitchen and bring me some water so how will I tell you like hey go and bring some water from the water bucket probably not I will tell you hey go to the kitchen and bring some water from the bucket number two it should happen like this yes you can read it what I am saying but that was a simple scenario here is another scenario which is very complex which is very complicated and you see you know like hundreds and thousand thousand boxes it can be a scenario even in your kitchen or your house in a warehouse now you cannot tell someone hey go and bring some coffee from coffee bucket if it is not written on that we are just telling hey go and check where is coffee just look in the coffee bucket no we will tell him go and look in the bucket 
with the name these these are the names one two three that and these buckets these buckets are like variables and one two three these are the names that we have given to those variables what is inside those boxes or buckets is the value is the content now let's move on in this scenario you cannot refer by just the uh, just by hey go and uh, uh, bring the water from the water bucket you have to refer it by the name yes here is a list where we have written the name of the variable name of the box variable means box here let's keep it simple the coffee is the content is the value inside it likewise in the second bucket it is milk it, it goes on okay now focus these the buckets or the boxes with these numbers like one two three etc then we have written on them we have given them some names these are the variables variables are used to store data we pass the data to the computer or we take the data from the computers with the help of variables yes so these variables are like buckets in the real computer memory or phone memory these variables are like some sections in the memory where we store the data and we give the name to that data I mean there is a place in the memory that we have stored the data and we have given a name to that we are referring to that place with the name of that variable like hey this is the bucket number one or bucket number bucket number two or whatever and this is the, the content inside that bucket should be making easy for you let's simplify it further this bucket or this box is a variable just focus here this is a simple scenario on this place this, there's just a bucket and it has a name on it it has some content i think it is water and the water has a type liquid let's move on now we know this bucket contains something or maybe it doesn't contain anything or we can use to contain something and whatever is placed inside this bucket is called value yes the content the data that is placed that we put that we assign to that bucket okay let's move on <coughs> now we know this bucket can be used for other purposes also we can use to store milk maybe honey maybe rice maybe anything else just paint or maybe other things we can use this bucket for that purpose same way the variable variable i will give you a real example very soon variable can have different values they can be modified they can be changed the value can be reduced increased decreased they can have a value uh, suppose the values just like the age value was 20 next time can be 30 also or 21 likewise <laughs> and now our kitchen can have as many boxes as you need to put all those things in the kitchen you know same way the app can have as many variables there is no restriction whatever you need you can make this is your world you make it yes this is what i have written here now here is the scenario another scenario look at this picture now we have a bucket and there is water inside it and there is a name given to it yes and it, it is in the form of liquid it is not solid or gas now what does this bucket have yes this bucket look at this bucket what does it have this this is a bucket it has a name yes and it has some water inside it and the type of that content or value is liquid why is that important if we had to store suppose gas inside it we cannot do that in in a bucket we have to look for a bottle for that to store the gas that is why we need to know the type of the data yes these are the some forms of matter I mean everything around us water anything is is either liquid or gas or solid you know it okay simple yes I told you it's important to know you cannot store gas in a bucket you will need a different kind of container a different kind of variable okay now this is a real example look at the top line it says we are where or variable 
age age is the name of the box or the bucket we have given it the name now the type like this bucket what kind of data does it store is it liquid water is it solid is it gas but we are talking computer data here so since the a is measured in like numbers 1 2 20 10 30 50 like that so the type of that data is integer int integer means whole number 1 2 3 1 d 50 even minus 1 0 1000 5000 it can be any number but it cannot be 1.2 2.5 like those numbers okay now you have to concentrate it is very important this type is a big topic and I am dedicating a whole video for this so things become crystal clear to you now let's move on look at this scenario we have the bucket and we have the example of the variable these are two same things the above line is the line from the computer programming from the Kotlin language and d d down below we have a bucket that is a real life thing both have a name yes that variable has a name age and this has a name one what does they contain what is the data or what is the content what is the value inside them the bucket has water and the age variable has 20 that is the value of this type bucket has liquid and age is the type of number it's not like some text hello it's not like 2.5 it's integer is a whole number one two three four five simple also now we have to understand this word called where I told you it's a variable the data then can be changed but again let, let's simplify since our bucket can be used to store other things as well, we can use it. Okay. The water can be increased or decreased as we wish. Hence, that bucket, bucket, that variable, that is, that bucket is variable. Mean it can be changed. V A R. It's a variable. Let's understand. Var we are giving it to make life easy for us to make programs efficient for us now same way our age variable is changeable age will not remain same it will keep on adding so we are using var so that the computer or the phone understands that this value this variable this age will keep on changing hence we are using var simple simple but means variable I told you this already and if it was supposed to remain same then we had to use VAL val but it's not the case here I told you this already okay hey, this is the name of the variable yes this is the bucket and we have given it a name variable is like a bucket again simplifying the thing and they have a name bucket has one and uh, the real example from programming has the name age you know the type of the data or the content in the bucket is liquid but in case of age it is int is that int int 1 2 3 4 5 20 is also an integer yes these are the examples of integers 1 2 3 4 5 what is whatever clear just clear it now yes look at this just like you needed a bucket to store water I told you like you cannot store the gas in the bucket but you cannot store water in paper bag or clothes bag you need the plastic metal or maybe concrete bucket for that it's understood it's real life thing same way we cannot uh, like ma make age of type text like age is equal to uh, high age equal to low age equal to very much no age is equal to some number simple that some some number is of type in desert one two three four five if we are writing age as like 20.1 20.2 like 20 year and four months then we have to use a different type and that type is double d o u b l d i will talk about that also double means we can take numbers in points 2.1 1.1 minus 1.2 2.5 like those numbers 
easy, easy, just easy. I told you like same way we need types in programming to make things easy for us. After all, programming is made by humans and for humans. So we have simplified the things for our use. Uh, if you are stuck, please rewatch. I know. Things will make sense to me. Now you might be wondering what is this two dots doing here? This is a clone from English or clone, whatever you call it. This is just a formality, just a custom that you have to follow. I have to follow. Everyone follows this. Mm, stop a time. Mm, yes, this is what I do. It means in digit, in digits, I told you, whole numbers. And also, I told you, in digit is one of the types. Just like matter, matter is of three types, solid, liquid, gas. But data in programming is of more than that. It is in desserts. Sometimes we need numbers. Sometimes we need text. Sometimes we need like numbers in fractions. Likewise, I will explain everything. Okay. Yeah, this is I have explained it to you. <coughs> now, I told you like I am going to dedicate a whole new video. Next video will be dedicated to the types. So these things will come clear to you because this topic is very important and it's a huge topic. This is not clear to you things are going to get hard so i am dedicating the next video for this section for for the types now let's look at this equal sign this thing is also very important in programming because it means little bit different this equal sign simply means we are assigning a value or giving 20 to the age age is becoming 20. now let me make it very simple here's this scenario you have some onions and some water you're mixing that lemon mixed with water makes lemonade or you call it lemon water maybe you add some salt or some spices and all those things it becomes this lemon added to added to means plus water is equal to is equal to this lemonade now here equals to does not mean if some water is lost or some water is spilled the equal sign is wrong no equal means what happened on the left side has become on what is on the right side just keep that in mind just keep this example in mind lemon lemons mixed with water becomes lemon water that equal sign makes the lemon water just simple as that it does not mean if some water is spilled now it will not become equal that is not the thing happening here program in programming things are a little different here to make exactly equal we have to use three equal signs I will explain that in a later section. Just don't worry. <coughs> yes, I told you this. What is this thing doing here? It is called assignment operator. This equal sign is called assignment operator. You, you are going to use this sign a lot of times. So many times. This must be clear to you. This should be clear to you. Just rewatch. Yes, this red section becomes a green section. Simple. Now 20 is the value. 20 is the coffee, 20 is the water that is in the bucket, 20 is the salt that is in the bucket, that bucket is the variable and if our bucket has salt in it, the type of it is solid, so the type of the data but in our case it is integer, it's a number and var means this is a variable, it can be changed, simple and just simple, okay, I hope you are getting some point, getting some idea. Please rewatch. Do not rush. Rewatch it. Make notes. Things will be simple. I am going to explain everything so simply that when you complete this course, you will have Kotlin under your belt. Kotlin will be your your thing. And yeah, have a great day.